Hey there, it's Chris Bednarik from the OSFM's Division of Personnel Standards and Education. Today we're going to discuss course approvals, how to get them, and how to renew them. It's important to note that before you can host a class for OSFM certification, your facility must have the proper facility approval and a valid course approval. To see what courses your facility is currently approved to teach, check the portal. How do I do that, you might be asking? Well, I'll show you. After you log into the PSNE Web Access Portal, hover over the Forms link in the menu bar and select Course Approval from the drop down menu. The screen you see lists your facility's current course approvals by expiration year. To see what courses you are currently approved to teach, click on the link for the year at the top of the list. In this case, it will be 2022. Here you can see the list of course approvals for the Anytown Fire Department. You can see that the department is approved for the courses and practicals associated with those courses. If your course has a yes in the practical column, you are attesting that all members listed on the course completion roster have passed the state practical examination. If your course has a no in the practical column, it does not mean you are unable to conduct the practicals as they are a course requirement. What it means is that when the application for certification is submitted, the chief or training officer will have to attest to successful completion of the state practical examination. On this screen, we see a drop-down list where we can request an additional course or courses for the current period. Keep in mind that any course you add midstream will expire at the end of the current five-year cycle. We'll select Hazardous Materials Technician from this list since it is a course we are not currently approved to hold. We'll also check the practical box since we will also be conducting the required state practical examination. If your facility is going to conduct the practical exam, it's a good practice to check this box. Then click the Add button. At least one certified instructor must be listed for each course for which you seek approval. This will be the lead instructor and will be responsible for all of the other instructors associated with the course when it's held. If the instructors already listed are certified to the proper level for the course, you can click the Submit Course Information for Approval button. If you need to remove an instructor from this list, you can click the Remove button. And if you need to add an instructor, click the Add button. When you click the Add button, a pop-up window will appear and guide you through the process to search for your new instructor. Once you're finished adding instructors, click the Submit Course Information for Approval button. We'll get a notification of your request and process it as soon as we can. If you are requesting approval for a course in the Instructor, Inspector, Fire Investigator, or Officer series, your course approval will not be granted until the office has received and approved your course syllabus and lesson plan. When a course approval request is received for one of these courses, it will populate in the list under Courses Requiring Further Documentation. This will prompt our staff to reach out to you to continue the approval process. You'll receive a course approval cover sheet from the office, and your approval will be assigned to one of our fire certification specialists, who will guide you through the rest of the process. Once we have received and approved your materials, your course approval will be granted and backdated to the original date on the application. Now that we have a list of courses that are approved until December 31 of 2022, what do we do to make sure we can continue hosting these courses for certification after that date? At the bottom of the table, find the Re-Request Courses button. Click this button before the expiration date and a submission for approval utilizing your current settings will be sent to the office. Just remember, your course approvals are valid for a five-year cycle. You'll get a notification before it runs out, but it's a good practice to keep an eye on it just the same. And that's how you request course approvals. If you found this training helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss anything. There are also multiple links on the OSFM webpage to assist you in navigating to these tutorial videos. If there's a topic you'd like us to cover, drop a note in the comments or send me an email at christopher.bednarik at illinois.gov. I'd like to thank all of the division staff for their assistance in the production of these videos and to our PIO for making them accessible to you. Be well and thanks for stopping by.